How are we all doing? I hope you're keeping well out there. So, the last video I did on this Bush AA23B, I could not believe the amount of views that I got on it. Almost 5,500 views, uh, 75 subscribers from that video alone, which I think is a record of some sort for me because generally it's a very niche subject and uh, usually get between four and 600 views per video on this kind of stuff. But to anyone who has subscribed, thank you very much for joining me on my journey here. And you're more than welcome here at this small channel. Uh, Orange Nodge Irish Vintage TV Radio. So, I thought we'd have another uh, more in-depth look at this television today. Set it up and that. The focus isn't quite good. The convergence, all those bits and pieces. But we have run into a little issue. And that is the thermistor for the HT supply, which is a stock fault. Um, has of course gone open circuit and it was actually arcing um, when we made a video look at that now I just haven't got one of these to hand I'm sure I have one in stock somewhere but I haven't got one to hand so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bang in a 15 ohm resistor I know naughty naughty but um, it will allow us to sort of continue on until I can get my hand on the proper part also course essential to check is the mains tapping we're on the 220 volt setting which was the style of the time here in Ireland uh, Republic of Ireland was 220 volts nominal uh, as opposed to the UK's 240 to 250 volt nominal but that changed sometime in the 90s and it's supposed to be harmonized between the two at around 235 but it's often more than that and here it's usually around 245 to 250 so we're going to move that tap as well anyway I'll get the board out and we'll change that and we will continue now I just looked up that uh, thermistor in the book and it's um, 15 ohms there we are type VA1104 is intended for diode protection in power supplies for color television receivers isn't that nice um, 15 ohms cold 1 ohm hot so we'll stick in a 15 ohm resistor might bring down the HT a bit but it should work for now anyway well there's only one way to find out as you can see it's, the leg has fallen off apparently this is quite common I don't know if you can weld that back on or do something with it we might attempt um, because other than that it should be alright but we'll see Oi, 15 ohm resistor in place and of course the other leg fell off this thing as well when I went out but you can actually see if you look closely but it's been arcing for some time so yeah that's not good now while we're here we'll try something else too and that is the tie wrister you want to make sure this is tight and it doesn't look all that tight there you can see there's a bit of a gap between it and the washer and sure enough the nut is loose enough so we'll give that a nip we don't want that arcing either and um, we don't want to lose our tie wrister so very handy set of things to have these little socket drivers my uh, father-in-law gave me these he got them when he worked for IBM so, Give that a nip, yeah, that's quite loose actually. There you go, and this vibrates, you know, so they actually come loose just with the 50 hertz vibration of the mains over time. Much similar, probably, to the way that I'm sure some of you will have noticed that we're in the trade that the neutral uh, pin and wired in a plug top always seem to come loose with hilarious consequences. Now, board's back in, but before we power up, I'm going to move that tap on the transformer to a more suitable location. Don't fail me now, salt and iron.
Yeah, that'll do. We, we shall see what happens. So there are 15 ohm resistor in place of our uh, thermistor and so on. We're on. We are on. So we shall look for colour bars. Well, I guess I may have to rethink my uh, 3 watt resistor in there. It's not enough. Um, as we can see, it's blowing healthily. We do have HD, but it's probably a bit low. So, I think, yeah. Don't think that's good enough in there. Healthy looking colour bars all the time. And even though our little resistor's blowing away quite nicely there. Yeah, 10 watt would have been better, I suppose. Will we leave it there for now? What's the worst gonna happen? Oh la, it'll go open circuit and we'll lose HT. Maybe we'll party on for now, as we're this far in. Back to the bush again, and the VA1104 varistor. Now I was sure that I had a few of these around. And sure enough, I knew I had seen them or something like them somewhere and sure enough I had in John's old uh, field repair toolbox now there's not much left in this but, um, I'll show you what there is there's the varistor and there's two more new old stock ones in the box and there's a few uh, line output transistors and things that you might need when going out to a house although it's many many years since that seeing the inside of a house br 101s ga power supply mm, what have you anyway finding that was good so we'll just to prove the point on what this is and what it does this this is an inrush limiter for the thyristor and it's camera in a bit and we will do a small short demonstration and then I'll fit this to the power supply instead of that 15 ohm resistor which I just stuck in for to get us going yeah, we put our little cheap as chips ohm meter on the arms range, clip it on. Now our little book, I think it said 15 ohms at 25 volts going down our operating temperature to around 1 ohm. It's saying 21.5 ohms if you can blade that, probably 20 ohms. Taking in the account of the leads and whatnot, get the lighter out. And this should go down as it heats up. You see it's getting harder and harder and harder and it's going down, down, down. And there we are, one ohm or so. And now it's going back up as it's warming up again. Anyway, we will stick that into the power supply. New one all fitted, we'll stick it back together and see how we get on now. Right, let's power up again and see how we get on. Hmm, no rustle of EHT. Not like that. <gasps> Smoke! Smoke from the lion stage. Off. No rustle of EHT either. But I can hear the lion oscillator. Why do I get a sinky feeling? Um, this 
doesn't look like he's been off too many times. Yes. I wonder. I have a funny feeling that the perhaps the triplers after going. What was this that was burning up? Let's just try this again quickly to see. Let's go and see where the smoke's coming from. Uh, these were known for doing the odd tripler. Yep, that one there. He's smoking. Now. Let's get the book out quickly. See what we're looking at. You did fall over. Never would. Especially live. Now, sorry for dropping you. The book. Blah blah blah. CRT is scan, output, and EHT. Oh, here we are. That's the resistor there. Or oh, six, or oh, nine. Six, nine, or. Oh. Where's the diagram, you and me? Now, here is the tripler. There. Let's get the camera in on this. Let's say the tripler was here. Um, and six or nine is a 470 ohm resistor going to ground out of the tripler. Yep. I have a funny feeling the tripler is gone. I wonder if I got one in stock for this. It's a five wire tripler. Let's have a look. Here we are once again. We have the old tripler out. And we have this one, which we're gonna wire in to see, to prove the point. I'm sure we'll come across the right one in time. Here is the old one. This is a later one, universal type. Um, earlier transformer was different, it was a plug-in type. Um, anyway, we'll wire this up and see how we get on. Okay, <clears throat> we have our tripler wired in all over the place, very poor, but just to prove a point, and sure enough, we're on again. So yeah, the tripler went. There's a litany of problems starting with this. Uh, what I would like to do is get the right tripler for it. Now it's just a universal type, I should be able to pick up one of these somewhere. I might have a look at Donberg, whatever. Um, it'd be nice to have the right one uh, in it. But for now I might try and just uh, stick that in so we can carry on uh, with the set. And then we can come back to that part later. And that's it, tripler phone. So tripler, varista. It'll be interesting to see what else gives up the ghost. But I think we're doing quite well so far. Okay, so replacement tripler fitted and the wires dressed long. I left the wires long for the when I get the correct tripler. So they've been dressed up as best I can. HD wires a bit long, but I've often seen them on the 20 inch sets, they looped them around the chassis like that, so that's what I did. And they were running again. So happy days. So, so far we've lost a tripler. A varista. And a tantalum capacitor. It'll be interesting to see what else goes. Okay, so the TV is running away. Now there's one adjustment I want to do before I do anything else. And that is set the EHT. 
And you see I have my Avo meter, DA116. And the only reason I bought this meter is because it came with an EHT probe. It's the only time I ever use it. And it's one, one gig ohm input. Yeah, it's they're not a great meter. They were Avo's first foray into digital multimeters. Um, but they are of their time. Anyway, it works for that. And that's the only purpose I have for it. Now, I had the book open on the page. What you need to look at. Not quite simple. Adjustments. Do do do. Set EHT control. Adjust EH. Set EHT control. RV1. 25 kV At the final anode of the CRT. This voltage is measured under normal signal conditions. With zero brightness on the CRT screen. Using voltage meter. Whose impedance not less than 30 megawatt. So, we will turn down the brightness. Hmm. The brightness isn't going down all the way, I believe that. But I'll turn everything down as low as we can. There's a little shadow still on the screen. Another problem to be dealt with, but as low as we can get it. Barely visible raster. Right, let's stick the out for in. Can we read it on the, yeah. Display is a little bit dim on this. But good enough now. I need a screwdriver as well. Two handed operation. So in we go with our probe. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Loads of electricity. Do, do, do. Ooh, it's a touch on the high side, are we? 26. 23. So bring that down to 25. Let's see how it looks. Mm, doo -doo -doo. Mm, very touchy, isn't it? A very short range. 25, bang on. Okay. Mm. There we go. 25, bang on. I'll turn up the brightness again. See how it looks. Oh yeah, that looks way better. There we go, look at that. Right, more to follow. Hope you enjoyed this saga so far.